YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deidre Elix Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here in this channel, man. Positive vibes only. No negativity whatsoever. No negativity whatsoever will be tolerated on this channel. All right, so today, very excited um, for this video. Um, this is uh, something really cool uh, that, that's happened along my YouTube journey and uh, I'm here to announce my partnership with Max Aroma. All right. So Max Aroma is a fantastic uh, uh, avenue for you to explore niche designer um, sampling um, of all kinds are there. Just a healthy catalog of fragrances month in and month out for you guys to tap into, including myself. I've been shopping at Max Aroma for years and I've always had uh, great experiences. I love their rewards program. You can kind of build up points and it can go towards uh, future purchases that could save that shipping or save a little bit more than that shipping. If you want to do two day shipping, just different things like that. So shout out to Max Aroma for reaching out and um, you know we were able to set this up and it's given me an opportunity to bring fragrances that necessarily don't get talked about or you might not even know about it. Hell, I don't know much about this brand um, that we're getting ready to uh, try today. But all of that being said, you can use my code DEDRICK10 to save you 10% on anything on maxaroma.com. Information will be down below in the description. Very exciting. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into the video. So today, um this house i've never smelled anything from it i've heard of it before i've seen some small content about it throughout the uh last couple of months but i, I don't know enough to speak on the brand so all of this is going to be first time first impressions and i'm really excited to try something new to try something that i know nothing about and to give my real raw first impressions uh, of this house all right so max aroma sent these over um to me um and i'm really excited to get started so let's do that so what are we talking we're talking um from the house of i think it's uh ragaline ragaline Ra <laughs> ragaline all right istanbul all right? and the packaging on these fragrances are outstanding all right so this is the first one that we're doing in look yeah this packaging it's a lot going on here okay um very exciting i should have popped the plastic and all that open beforehand but we're going to go ahead and tap in right now now there isn't plastic around this i'm just it's kind of this well it is plastic but it's not like your regular you know regular plastic it's a real thick casing that's around this box so i'm gonna try to not, i should have pulled this out beforehand but i definitely didn't do so so bear with me while i get this oh there it is <laughs> while i get this open and you can see what we got going on this is in here very very tight get rid of that here we are let's open it up um again the box on this thing there we got raggling wriggling all right so let's see where do we open this thing so you open it up and then another box slides out just like that okay very nice here's the casing we're smelling uh let's see let's get that in focus and there we go a leather casing here got my knife here to pop this sticker open here boom there we are and to open it up wow really nice it's kind of loose in here a little bit i'm assuming from all the Oh no, it's not. It just lays in there. Really nice. So here we go. Kind of reminds you of like a Zhirzhov type of uh, casing here, but really nice quality. Like really nice, high quality packaging here. So let's get into our first fragrance of the day from the house of Ragaline. We're going to go with that. Instabool. We're talking antidote. Antidote. I know nothing whatsoever about antidote from ragaline so this seems to be an odd size bottle what size is this 90 mil 
Okay, this is 80 mil, excuse me. This is a 80 mil. So similar to like Ormond Jane, they do like the 80 mils, which is more than enough for me with my collection that I have. So let's go ahead and tap in. Oh, magnetic cap, cool. Magnetic cap, very beautiful bottle. And let's see what antidote is all about, because that's what y'all care about anyway. So here we go. Oh, let's get in the air. Pressurized atomizers, and it's a really good one. Mmm, okay. So we're gonna get this on the inside of my arm here, one spray. Mmm. Okay, so in the air, I'm getting some spices. Getting some, so this is really good quality in the air, wow. Getting some spices, getting some sweetness. God, that smells good. It might be honey in here, and I love honey. Okay, let's see what this is hitting for on the skin. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. So, number one, I'm, I'm blown away by the quality. That's number one. Blown away by the quality. I'm getting this like this buttery sweetness. I'm getting some spices in here as well. There's a fresh element to this. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to be, it doesn't smell like a lavender, but maybe just maybe a clean musk that um, is working with this sweetness and the spices in here. This is really flattering. This is really attractive. Um, the name suits it well, at least from my thinking, uh, Antidote. High quality stuff, but I, mu I must say, as it's starting to dry down, it's putting me in the mindset of something. It doesn't smell like anything in particular that I have in my collection or that I've come across, but it's reminded me of something and maybe it'll come to me. But this is really good. Sweet, spicy, got, got, has a freshness to it. Kind of smells like there's a, a clean musk here. Maybe there's a little bit of a tobacco type of vibe in here as well. I'm getting like a tobacco, uh, almost like a, a warmth or, or, yeah, like a tobacco warmth with this sweetness and this freshness and these spices. And it's not like spicy, like masculine spicy. It's like sweet and spicy. That's what I'm getting. Not, I'm not saying it's gourmand, but it's a fresh, clean scent with some sweetness that I think people will really appreciate, but it's reminding me of something. Let's go to the notes and check out Antidote from Ragalin. I believe Ragalin. I probably said it three different type of ways <laughs> since then. So let's check out Antidote. Um, let's go straight to Max Aroma and see what they have to say. Okay, main accords. They're saying floral, white florals, amber, or some of them. I guess the main, of course, but it's definitely more than that. I don't really get much floral intake. But in the top notes, according to Max Aroma, nutmeg, sweet and spicy, geranium, rose leaf up top. In the mid, what is this? Mimosa. Okay, honey jasmine and sage and in the base vanilla there's that tobacco followed by amber patchouli and musk so my nose was in the area of what this had going on as it continues to dry down it's starting to kind of remind me of a, um like a fresher like a fresher blend well like the like a cousin or a yeah, like a long lost cousin, second or third cousin of like Naxos. I'm getting like there's a Naxos and this latent type of vibe here. More on the Naxos side. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly powerful, but this is really good. This is something definitely for the fall and the spring that I probably, yeah, yeah I wear it in the spring, definitely in the fall, definitely in the winter. I'm kind of getting more of this kind of everyday vibe with this fragrance. More of an everyday vibe with this fragrance um, is, is what I'm picking up here. But it's really, really nice. And the honey is like, none of the ingredients in here are overwhelming each other. So the blend is really, really nice here. 
very, very interested to see how this wears on just a daily, um, a day-to-day -day situation because I can see myself doing the fall. This could be like a, almost like a signature scent for the fall. It has everything that I really appreciate. I have some spices, I have some sweetness, and I have that freshness in there. And I know I just sprayed it on probably, what, maybe five minutes ago, but it's it's starting to kind of really settle, settle down. The smooth texture is still there. Uh, that tobacco and that honey are really starting to kind of sit still. Um, and maybe that's what's gonna, you know, this fragrance is gonna kind of really transition all the way to as it dries down. I'm leaning towards that, but I'm, obviously I'm not sure. But all in all, great fragrance really good quality i'm getting on the dry down kind of like that kind of like this naxos latent type of dry down effect um it's not i'm not saying it's a clone i'm not saying it's a one-on-one -on -one. i'm not saying any of that it's just what it reminds me of but this is really good right in this right off the shoot i'm gonna get us an eight and a half out of a ten uh, eight and a half out of a ten this could change I gotta wear it out into the world and kind of see what it has to offer me <laughs> and then i can let you guys know but great fragrance from an unknown house up until now something to definitely tap into the bottles are really nice atomizer is beautiful let's get that pressurized well i got another one we gotta open up so magnetic cap pressurized atomizer really good quality i might wear this tomorrow i might wear this tomorrow as my sin of the day um, so you guys can see this probably in the weekly rotation as we get going, but really good stuff from the house of Ragaline, I believe. Ragaline. We have Antidote. Really, really nice. You will see this in, uh, in fall and winter content. I really like this. This is good. I, I almost kind of prefer it more than Naxos. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Naxos. I think it smells really, really good, but I... I and initially right now I prefer this over Naxos for more for different reasons than some might think I'm not saying it's always oh, better. he said it's better than next no I just say I prefer it because it's not sickly sweet it's not super bold but the quality is right there kind of it's really on rival on par with Zhirzhov um, so I'm not missing anything there but I do like that bit of freshness that's there that's really blending with the honey and tobacco. Really good. I'm gonna give it eight and a half out of a 10. Eight and a half out of a 10, and adult, really good stuff. All right, we got one more to discuss from the house of Ragaline. Um, I've had a tough time getting this thing out the <laughs> classic, so let's get that going right now. But this one, I'm lead, led to believe that it's a more darker, um, oh, it's easier way to open this. It's a more darker fragrance, maybe even a little bit of dark woods, a little bit of um, maybe some oud. Um, I did look this one up when I was going through um, the list of selections that Max Aroma gave me, and I was really intrigued uh, by this one in particular for the uh, for the upcoming winter. So let's see what we got here. The box is very similar to Antidote. That box is blue, this box is black, and we're talking about Mystic here. Here's the box, here's the casing. Really clash with my studio light. I usually don't record at night, but I'm just really excited to see what these are all about, all right? So let's go in and see what we have from the house of Ragaline. I'm, I hope I'm not butchering that, but knowing me, I probably am. Um, so we're gonna open up the casing here, probably the bottle sitting in there. Oh, I gotta cut this tab right here. All right, cut the tab and it opens up just like the last one, not missing nothing there. Mystic is the fragrance, here we go. That's what we got going on, hopefully that's in focus. And we have Mystic, all right? So same beautiful leather casing, same everything. This is really, really dope, really, really dope, all right? So let's see what this has to offer. Mystic here, same magnetic cap. Let's get that sprayer in the air. Beautiful pressurized atomizer. Beautiful. Mm, okay, so we definitely have a, oh my goodness. We definitely have a change of pace here. Like super change of pace. But I am noticing something that I got in Antidote that I'm getting in Mystic. We're gonna spray 
I have a spray here on my arm that that breathe. That these fragrances are, they're so, even though they have dense, a dense nature to them and they have depth, they still carry this bit of freshness, especially in the air. So the tone has changed here. In the air, I'm definitely getting more of a woodsy, dark woodsy, definitely getting spices. I thought I maybe got like a floral touch here a bit in the air, maybe like a spicy floral, I'm not really sure. Um, but here we go, let's see what we got. We have uh, Mystic, I think it is. Mystic by Rogaling. Oh God, okay, oh God. This is super different. Unlike Antidote, Antidote reminded me of, like I've talked about, Naxos and kind of a latent-ish type DNA. But I've, I don't have any, I've never smelled nothing like this one. Yeah, definitely some darker woods. I'm not sure if it's a rose in here, but there's some type of floral, it has to be. There's some type of floral representation here. Spices are in here, but then again, even with those these darker, denser nuances and elements of this fragrance, I'm getting a bit of a freshness here. Most important thing, this smells fantastic. More on the masculine side, this is definitely leaning towards um, my guys out there, you know, whether you're going to the office, or you're dressing it up, or you're going out to an event, or even a date night if you really wanna focus on your masculinity. This is different though, this is different. Let's go, let's go to the notes, <laughs> let's go to the notes. I can tell you right now, Mystic is definitely very intriguing. So the main accords, aromatic, warm, spicy, and woody, I'm, I'm getting all of that. Um, according to Max Aroma, so top notes, cedar needles, okay. Sage, bergamot, and palisander rosewood. I'm assuming that that is a darker, heavier wood. In the mid, and it's distinctive here, lavender. So there is a lavender freshness here as I was getting in the initial blast of this fragrance. Pepper, add into the spice. And then in the base, white musk, sandalwood. Hmm, argan wood, tonka, amber. What is this? Uh, Goron, no, excuse me. Gurjan, balsam, and vanilla is what I'm getting. Wow, this is really, really interesting. Oh my goodness, as soon as it cools down just a little bit. Right now we kind of got like, not a heat wave, but it's a little bit warmer. We got a blast of fall not too long ago, um, but it's kind of a little bit too warm for this, for my taste or liking, unless I'm going out in the evening. But all in all, this is more on the masculine side. Um, I think my gentleman out there who's looking for more of a masculine play and a masculine feel would definitely appreciate this. The woods in here, the spices, some interesting notes that I haven't really come across before, um, especially the cedar needles. Now I'm assuming that's a play on cedar wood. I mean, what else could it be but cedar wood? Uh, the palisander rosewood, mixing with that pepper and that lavender freshness, godly. And it's present. And, and now, wow. And now underneath this, there is this little hint of like drizzled sweetness with everything that's going on the oud part of this is non it's not something to be concerned about it ain't medicinal it ain't stinky it's more of a really heavy woods in this spice woods that freshness element is so unique to me with the base of this fragrance God, this is really good. <laughs> this is my taste. Now, this is definitely not gonna be for everybody. I would say out of the two, if anybody's asking, Antidote will be more on the play for somebody who is looking for something a little bit more mass appealing in that direction, but this definitely has layers to it. We're gonna smell the dry down on the way out of Antidote. But Mystic, for my fellas out there looking for more of a masculine play, yes, 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 yes. Woods, spices. There's some spices, there's some freshness here. And underneath it, as it's drying down, there's this vanilla-like drizzle that's going on here. 
really, really good. I'm gonna rate this the same as Antidote. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of a 10. I'm gonna be wearing this as soon as I get the opportunity to do so to kind of see what we got going on. But Antidote and Mystic, these are fantastic from the house of Rogaline. And uh, we missed the show the ball again for Mystic. That plate is a black plate and it is an actual plate. It's not paper, it's not rolled on. Love the classic, classy feel to this fragrances, uh, to this fragrance, or well, these fragrances. The ridges, the magnetic cap, very, very nice. Has me super intrigued to tap in more into the into the house. So antidote on the dry down. Yeah, I'm getting that honey. I'm getting that really clean musk. It's really, 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 really nice. Really nice. And antidote. Man, really good. Two eight and a half out of a ten. Um, really good stuff. Can't wait to bring more of the conversation of the house of Rogaline. Hope I'm saying it right to you guys. All right. So um, let me know down below. Have you tried this house? Have you tried this brand? Have you ever heard of it? Are you intrigued by it? Um, if you are, head over to Max Aroma. They do have samples available. Use my code Dedrick10. Get your nose on something new. Get your nose on something that you just don't know about, especially for this time of year, for the fall and the winter time. I think these are two really great options to explore and kind of see what's going on. All right. So uh, we'll see what else we have in store with Max Aroma in the future. But right now, um, very excited um for just even the opportunity to collaborate with them um and you know it's really really dope to see so save that 10 percent dedrick 10 max aroma information down uh below and uh let's chop it up in the chat and uh let's see what you guys have to say if you experience something down the line let me know because samples are available all right so until next time be cool be safe take care of yourselves positive energy positive vibes y'all know how we rock out here in this channel man you know what it is Splack it up Spike it down, spike that thing all around. And remember, what you put onto this world is exactly where you are going to get back. Max Rome, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all very much. Peace, y'all. Of course, Splacker.